In this specific video, you're going to learn how to customize the top navigation menus. So as you can see here, we're going to talk about how to customize this. And you can use this same method to customize the custom menus for the widgets and so forth. So we're going to talk about customization of menus. To customize menus, you can go over to the appearance section and click on menus and currently there are no menus so I'm going to create a new menu by calling this default click on create menu and over here it says theme locations it says your theme supports one menu select which menu you want to use. So you can have several different menus use if you want. However, in this case, we're going to choose the default, which we just created, as the new menu. And click on Save. We're going to scroll down. And custom links basically allow you to add links. So let's say, for example, that I want to add a menu that links to a different page. I can do that by creating custom links. However, in this case, I'm just going to use pages and I'm going to add these two pages to the custom menu. So I'm going to select all, click on add to menu, and as you can see here, I've got the page creation and contact us here. So with these two menu pages, we can actually reorder this if we want. So let's say, for example, right now, if I go to the main site, page creation shows up first, contact us shows up second. Let's say that I want to reorder that and put contact us here and then put page creation here. I can actually do that, reorder it, click on save menu. Once it's saved, I can refresh this page and as you can see, it reordered it itself. Contact us page creation is second, just as you can see here. Now you can also create sub menus. Let's say for example, that I want to do page creation. I'm gonna add a custom link. We'll just put this to Google. And we're gonna call this page creation two click on add to menu you can actually make this a sub menu of this so this is the parent menu and this is the sub child menu to do that you just click on it and move it to the right as such and once you do that click on save menu and go back to the live site refresh it and as you can see I've created a sub menu it's really, really easy as you can see. It's very, you know, drag and drop kind of thing. So I could even move this here and create two sub menus and go back here, refresh the page. And you'll notice that I've got this. And when I go here, I've got another sub menu here. But, and you can also remove, simply drag this and click this and click remove move this back over here make sure you save the menu refresh the page and there we go so as you can see here menus are very very easy to create all you need to do is make sure you create the menu you select the default menu you connect these two together and that's it you can also do categories if you want to as well and that's easy so that's it and if you ever want to let's say for example add this custom menu to your sidebar in widget section you can just go to your appearance go to widgets click on custom menu and drag it over here and make sure that the selected menu is here click on save and if you refresh the page the menu actually shows up here. So that's just something to keep in mind with widgets as a side note as well.